Okay, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to this uh, weekend market analysis uh, where we are going to be looking into uh, some pairs and uh, deciding on the best directional buyers that we are going to trade. Uh, last month I came to an end with uh, such a volatile price action. We saw uh, on Friday how price was just so volatile. In fact, the best uh, market condition for anyone to lose money. Uh, it is always very important for you to know when to stay out of the market. For those who are still uh, trying to force uh, their trades on Friday, I am sure a lot of persons uh, lost money on Friday. Okay, but for us in the live trading room, uh, we didn't take uh, any signal. Okay, so we are safe, uh, no trade, no harm. That's the beauty of uh, re of um, respecting your trading strategy. All right, uh, a bright uh, month ahead, the month of June. Uh, everything is looking really bright. So we are just uh, very quickly uh, going to analyze those pairs. But first, let's review uh, what happened in the signal in the VIP channel of um, our live trading room, all right, the Telegram channel. Okay, uh, this is the uh, Telegram channel. And as you can see, uh, that was uh, 18th. Uh, sorry, let me just expand this a bit. Okay, just to make sure that... Uh, you get what we are uh give me a second not working okay uh i don't know what's going on here okay just a minute all right it seems i can't expand expand my telegram channel for you to be able to read uh, all of that uh well let me try again it should be able to uh, work out okay right there all right okay that's it um okay now so you can uh, uh clearly see in the vip uh, channel um we have uh for last week this was on the 18th all right last week started on the 18th we uh, had uh, some trades the american dollar against the canadian dollar the uh, sterling pounds against the new zealand dollar for uh, run in the previous week okay so we're able to close this one out at plus 55 pips uh for this one we were still running let's just go down and see uh, what happened okay that's it there the american dollar against the uh, canadian dollar uh we sent out an update showing uh, members of the room for um uh, the possible price behavior and of course uh we closed the trade out okay for plus 34 pips plus 34 pips we are out of the trade even though we are in the right directional bias okay all right so uh, as uh, the week has started i mean last week uh, there was actually uh, no active trade after we closed those two straight those two trades in profit then we took only three trades as of last week the first one came from the american dollar against the uh, sorry the euro against the american dollar and you can see that's the signal and of course uh, we got some nice pips there then the uh, second trade came from the swiss franc against the uh, japanese yen and of course if you look into your chart you will see that we got also some nice pips there and the last uh, trade uh, came from the uh, canadian dollar against the japanese yen if you look into your chart you will see also that we got some nicer uh, profits there so we got um we got actually uh three trades and all positive as of last week okay so that's it uh, if you scroll down you will see how we update our members uh how we are uh, manage the trades until the end all right if you just uh, scroll down i really do not want to waste much time on this uh, you will see how we manage the trades uh, until we close them out all right uh, and we give our members some uh, live updates on what we are following and what we are not uh, following okay all right so that's it now let's look into the uh, forex factory economical calendar to see those high impact news announcements that are scheduled for this upcoming trading week we have uh, quite a lot and the uh, majority of them are uh, uh, bank holidays are taking the uh, taking over the week all right bank holidays uh you can see those are bank holidays are uh, another bank holiday here uh during bank holidays you should respect uh, quiet market behavior uh well i think uh, we had always seen that when the bank holiday is coming from the american dollar axis uh that means uh, we are going to trade as normal even though we have these are uh, bank holidays we will trade the market as normal okay
All right, so a lot of uh, high impact news announcement here. You want to uh, keep them on your notepad. You want to make sure you are not trapped in those news announcement. Uh, more importantly, the NFP on Friday, okay, coming from uh, the Canadian dollar and the American dollar as usual, the uh, NFP, uh, you want to be extremely careful with that on Friday. All right, let's move into the charts and see a few pairs and uh, our directional bias. The first one is the euro against the american dollar this is the monthly time frame the monthly candles are now closed and a new month is to start on monday and so there is need for us to move into the monthly time frame to see what actually went on now we had earlier analyzed the euro against the american dollar in fact we had analyzed this pair many times and our proposed long-term directional bias is that we may be having a long-term channel okay and if this is going to hold true then the euro against the american dollar like i did analyze before that this is the best area to look for your buy entries and you can see how price has been uh, bouncing off that soon and uh, with um, <coughs> last month close or this month that's uh, the month of may close we are likely going to see more upside so for the euro against the american dollar we are bullish we'll be searching only for long opportunities in the uh, weekly time frame uh, weekly time frame here uh, we got lots of hesitation right there before last week we saw the push to the upside so that push is a hint that price is um, now bullish and so we need to follow that hint in the um, in in price action okay so in the daily time frame uh, this was our previous analysis uh, right now uh, we were expecting that price was going to react off that level of resistance but as you can see price pushed above and is now sitting above that level that means this line is now very useless it is not in it is not valid anymore so we are just simply going to take it out um, now these are the key areas you can see how price kept uh, respecting that soon in fact I am going to mark that let me just uh, insert it to uh, a ship I'm going to mark that area right there okay um, maybe I should also drop a line I can just drop this level here okay now that's it I'm going to take this out also going to take this out so I just want to keep a clean chart or maybe I can just keep one in the next level of resistance this one here and that's it uh, last week friday we saw a price reacting off that level of resistance okay but now we are we have been able to establish that the directional bias is to the upside and so what do we need to do we need to wait for price to make a pullback to this soon this is the exact area we want to look for our buy entries if we do get that pullback uh, then we'll be looking into our trading strategy to see if we get a buy signal if we do get a buy signal of course uh, from this area we will let our members know when to get involved in that trade so right now it is best to wait for that pullback then a push to the upside all right let's move on to the next pair the american dollar against the uh, canadian dollar right here in the monthly time frame you can see the price went to a react of resistance now coming back to support soon and so for us we are not ready to sell against this level of support at best we'll be looking for possible bounces of that level of support to the upside so for um uh, okay uh sorry let me look at this again i think um all right let me just be more precise okay okay even though price is trading close to our support area i think all right based on my um, price action uh, experience price might come all the way to that soon all right so for now it is still too early to search for bounces to the upside uh we changed uh, let me just change that plan for the american dollar against the canadian dollar for this upcoming trading week we are bearish okay we are still bearish we'll be searching for short opportunities uh in the weekly time frame uh lots of hesitation as of uh, uh, some weeks right here then last week we saw the uh, push to the downside showing us the next directional hint uh so in the daily time frame what do we have a flat bottom triangle has given way but the uh, the continuation formation is really bad right here okay it's really bad um we are still expecting the price will push to the downside all right um but then the entry has not been given so we are still waiting to see that favorable price action around this area 
right there around that area for us to look for our short entries so we have not seen that and so we have not taken the trade if we find that uh, valid entry we will let you know and of course we'll be looking to our post a signal for all of our members to go short all right let's move on the uh, euro against the new zealand dollar this is the uh, monthly time frame well the price action here is not really clear enough um i'm just going to remove this this is not good enough uh the channel is not good enough let's just keep that level here as support and also keep this one here as the most uh, recent support so just uh all right so now um we had the range okay this is the breakout we have seen the pullback we expect to see price pushing to the upside so for the euro against the new zealand dollar our directional bias is uh, to the upside we'll be looking for opportunities to go long in the euro against the new zealand dollar in the weekly time frame well well i am seeing uh, there were much much of hesitation uh, just so much hesitation around that area okay um last week candle close that candle there is a hint that price will be pushing to the upside so we will we'll be more interested in looking for buy entries and of course if we find an entry here we will let all vip members know about that in the uh, daily time frame euro against the new zealand dollar uh price is actually in the range and this is the range that we have been following we've been waiting for price to break out of this range for us to be able to find our entry at any rate uh, if we find any valid entry around this support zone uh we'll be looking for only buy entries in the euro against the new zealand dollar okay our directional bias here is to the upside uh however if price breaks to the downside and we find a uh, good continuation move then we'll be looking to go short but for now um, our ult ultimate uh, directional bias is to the upside all right uh, the american dollar against the japanese yen in the monthly time frame quite uh, a difficult price behavior here uh, at any rate we are anticipating a channel formation that price uh, from here on should be coming back down uh it is not really clear the price action is really bleak it is not clear enough uh we are just hoping because of um the uh, really volatile price behavior there that price will be pushing to the downside let's see the weekly time frame the weekly time frame uh nothing really special as well uh, just lots of hesitation there but in the daily time frame let's see um we've got a range uh that range right there you can see price trading around that high that um area of resistance okay uh, that's uh an op that's an area you want to look for uh, short opportunities and we are anticipating a range that this is a range okay and so at this area we expect price to come back down uh, last week um price are threatened to come down uh in the uh in the uh, four hours time frame we were following this it was a range okay it was a range we we're actually following this we saw the breakout breakout of that range we're waiting for the pullback but uh, then you can see how price just uh, bang up again into that uh, range zone without giving us an entry and so we didn't call for any signal so what are we expecting now in the american dollar against the japanese yen well our um, optimal direction here is to the downside that price should be bearish okay that price should be bearish sorry i lost uh, connection here that price should be bearish okay now um what is the uh, price pattern here we got uh, a range a range right there uh let me just show you we got a range right here okay oops sorry um we got that uh, range that range right here all right uh then the range got broken okay that was the end of that pattern so right here we're expecting price to give us a different pattern in front so um what are we anticipating well we are not looking for the possibility of maybe uh a channel formation sorry just going to take this good that's the end of the range there so we're not looking for the possibility of a channel formation uh, this is quite difficult price action
okay so now uh, this part and this sideways price behavior came to an end now we are seeing that price has given us a bounce there a bounce here this is likely going to be the second bounce for price to come back down again so the american dollar against the japanese yen we are still bearish but then we need to wait for the trading strategy to call for that entry so let's just wait to see if this channel is the next pattern that we are going to see in this pair all right so the next one is the american dollar against the uh, swiss franc well this pair to me looks uh, absolutely bearish i am expecting that uh, this month we'll see more downside in the american dollar against the swiss franc even though we had uh, really an inconsistent price behavior there uh, this month of uh, june should see price moving to the downside the uh, weekly time frame well uh, lots of hesitation again but then everything points to the downside let's see the daily time frame now in the daily time frame we have um, a flat bottom triangle and of course you know we are waiting for the breakout let's see if price uh, gives us a breakout and some continuation move we have all eyes here the uh, trend looks uh, very healthy to the downside and we really do not want to miss that move if price breaks to the downside we are likely going to come back all the way to this level so we'll be looking to make all of these pips in our pockets and we want to nail the entry exactly when the move is about to start all right um that's it for this one let's uh, move on to the next one the swiss franc against japanese yen uh here as well uh, this was one of our our signals for last week uh we're expecting that price will push up okay in this uh, flat uh, drop triangle and uh, we have all of this way to trade that bullish move we're expecting price to push to the upside so we should be expecting a stronger swiss franc okay in the uh, trading weeks ahead or months ahead uh we're expecting a, a stronger swiss franc in the trading months ahead let's see the weekly time frame uh weekly time frame nothing really is just um that side with price bias uh very choppy right there but now we are beginning to get headway uh to the upside in the daily time frame uh what do we have uh well really choppy again but then if price makes you can see how this area keeps uh holding price as resistance it got broken so if we get a pullback to retest that zone we'll be looking for our buy entries in the swiss franc against the japanese yen we're bullish we are only interested in long opportunities all right the euro against the uh, japanese yen uh, another one uh, right there support price reacted off it uh, again some sort of a range but then price should be pushing to the upside we are interested in buy entries um we analyzed this pair many times ago and we talked about this area of support being the best point to look for buy entries and you can see how price kept pushing to the upside uh where we are interested in long entries only let's see the daily time frame if there's anything interesting now in the daily time frame okay this is where we are following this pair we got um this level acting as support the next time price comes to that level uh, we'll be very happy to look for our buy entries in the euro against Japanese yen. We are only interested in buy entries. We are not interested in short entries. Okay. If we are even if we take a short entry, we are going to be very brief with that trade. Our optimal direction for the euro against the Japanese yen is to the upside. All right. Let's move on to the last pair: the sterling pounds against the uh, Canadian dollar in the monthly time frame. Well, uh, our previous analysis was for a triangle formation. Well, I am going to change my um, pattern right now. Uh, the triangle formation has the lower level as support quite far. Let's anticipate uh, an earlier level somewhere in here. An earlier level, right? So we can have uh, some sort of a channel. Let's just anticipate an earlier level. So I'm going to change my uh, line. I'm going to keep it this way. All right. Let me anticipate a channel. Uh, so I am expecting that price right now should come all the way here before we can see another bounce or a push to the downside to confirm that triangle formation. Okay. So, but for now, uh, this is the most uh, the most early level of support that I am anticipating in the sterling pounds against the Canadian dollar. Let's see what happens around here. That means uh, we are very bearish here, looking for short opportunities at least to that level of support. 
all right so in the weekly time frame uh what do we have uh really nothing uh, just the range in the daily time frame um well you can see the struggle right there price went all the way to that level of resistance it got resisted okay you can see that push to the downside uh we are still watching for me i would like to see another push to that area somewhere in here before i will want to go uh short okay we are bearish but we'll be looking for that short opportunity uh not comfortable around this zone yet let's just hope to see the uh, trading system give us a valid sell entry okay right so that's basically it like i said uh we are expecting very uh, profitable trading months ahead uh you don't need to take trades left right and center you need just a few uh profitable trading trades okay uh, profitable trading opportunities okay if you find them uh, if you make up to 17 20 percent of your account a month then you are in good standing and you'll be happy with yourself okay uh there's no need to put yourself under pressure do not uh uh, make things 10 stop for you uh, trade a particular trading strategy that works for you and stick to the principles okay thanks for watching if you have a questions or contributions please feel free uh, send them across to us and uh, we'll be very happy to respond to them you have a nice weekend see you again next week bye bye